Another violent crime at a food store, this time in the Bronx. Once again, the evildoer unidentified because he was wearing a COVID mask. A worker confronts two people suspected of shoplifting. Then the mask man goes on the attack, punching the worker repeatedly. Tonight, the store supervisor talking to us about what happened. And about how to stop this. Sonia Rincon live at the scene in the Allerton section with the latest. Sonia. Bill, police are looking for a man and a woman. The man got violent with the store employee who tried to stop them from leaving the food town here on Allerton Avenue on Tuesday afternoon. That employee had seen them putting items into a bag and not paying for them. That worker's boss says he has had it with the increase in shoplifting over the last year or so that has put his workers and customers in danger. And he's asking for action in the form of consequences. A state bill is aimed at exactly that. The surveillance video captures a store employee calmly speaking to a pair of suspected shoplifters first. We followed them to the front to make sure that, you know, it was paid for it. But they kept walking out, and when he tried to stop them, they shoved him to the ground near the store exit and punched him several times. Violent attacks like this may not be an everyday occurrence, but store supervisor Louis Porcelli says the shoplifting is. It's an ongoing situation, and something should be done about it. Yeah. When you say it happens every day. I would say so. We, you know, we catch people almost every day. A lot of these stores are getting slammed right now. A bill recently introduced in the state assembly and Senate would target repeat shoplifters. I'll call them the regulars, the, 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 the professionals, if you will, the people who like do this a lot. Um, so if you're convicted uh, a second time within two years, you will face a more significant penalty than uh, simply petty larceny. Sponsor Bronx Assemblymember Jeffrey Dinowitz says it would do that by making the second conviction automatically a fourth degree grand larceny, which is a felony. So those regulars don't feel like they can keep getting away with it. But that's not to be confused with those arrested not being held on bail for nonviolent offenses. This is not really about bail reform whatsoever. This is about uh, a problem which has increased significantly. And I think I, I for one, and I know many other people want to, you know, stand up for the for the merchants, for the store owners, for the people who work hard to keep the economy going in New York City. In this case, this was more serious than shoplifting. This was assault. The employee refused medical attention. He's okay. Uh, thank God for that. But I mean, it was unnecessary. Also unnecessary, according to that store supervisor, having to lock things up or hiring a security guard. He says that would make the store seem unfriendly, and he doesn't want that. He also doesn't want his employees to ask customers to remove their masks. He says that would put them in an uncomfortable position. The NYPD's 49th precinct is investigating, and the workers here are hoping that police find and charge the culprits.